Hi everyone, I'm Ellie from Code of the Future and today we're going to be exploring the PyAuto GUI module in Python by creating a Python file that will like every single TikTok on your For You page. So this video is a little bit different to usual. I thought I would introduce you to the PyAuto GUI module by doing some kind of hands-on but really fun um, Python tutorial videos. So obviously in the last video we looked at how you can send your friend the entire script of Shrek through messages if you really want to, um, where each line is a, is a new text message. So if you fancy pranking your friends um, with something, and also it doesn't just work for Macs and, and iMessage, it also works for Facebook and other social media as well. So if you fancy giving your friends a little bit of a prank, then, uh, <laughs> then I check out that video. That also uses PyAuto GUI as well. So today we're gonna look at how you can use PyAuto GUI to kind of control your screen, how you can move to a specific area on the screen and then perform clicks and how you can scroll as well. So we're gonna get started straight away and I'm gonna move you onto the screen. Okay, perfect, so we're in PyCharm. I've created a Python file called TikTok Liker. Um, you know, you could you could call this PyAuto GUI if you wanted to, but I just thought I'd put TikTok Liker because that's essentially what we're gonna be doing today to introduce you to the PyAuto GUI module in a little bit more depth. So obviously the first thing we need to do is import relevant modules. And today we're simply just going to import time and import pi auto gui again if this comes up red and you don't know how to import given modules you can either pip install it but if you're unfamiliar with how to pip install then you just go up to pycharm preferences go down to your project click python interpreter and then just click this install button here and then type in exactly what you want to install and click install and then it should work okay so we've imported the relevant modules now let's do a little bit of coding so here is TikTok. Here is my TikTok. Uh, while I'm here, I'm just going to say, everyone, please go uh, follow my TikTok. The algorithm hasn't really been working for me recently. I haven't had many um, views, but the idea behind this TikTok channel is to kind of show you how to do specific coding, kind of hacks, coding tutorials, kind of fun things like this to do in coding, and also some things like Google tricks. So if you fancy following my my TikTok, then I'd really appreciate that. I'm hoping to kind of build it and introduce a few more people to tech and coding. So we're going to go into the For You page. And the idea behind this video is what we want to do, and please ignore my For You page, I don't use this TikTok, so it's going to be full of absolute random stuff, like this man that is eating ice. <laughs> Anyway, so the idea is we want to create a Python file where if we, if we move on to this, it will move the mouse to this given button here, it will double click and then it will scroll till it reaches it again and double click. So the idea is that you could do it for as many kind of TikToks that you want to like. So the first thing we need to establish is how can we find out where exactly is this given like button on the screen. So this is for kind of when the screen is maximized. Again, this will differ, this Python file will differ depending on what laptop you're on, kind of what um, pixels and stuff, what screen you have. So we want Python to find, we want Python to find out exactly what position this like button is on this screen. So the way that we do that is we'll just put here, finding your mouse's current position on the screen. And the way that we do that is we say print Pi auto GUI dot position very simply open brackets and if we run this right now what will happen is because it will do it instantaneously it will produce the position at which my mouse is right now so that is all the way up there if I just scroll up here it tells us that right up here where my mouse was these are the coordinates okay but I want it to be here you know I want to be able to move across and, and move my mouse there. The way that we do that is we use this time module. So what we can say is give some time before Python runs this file. And the way that we do that is we just put time sleep and then we'll give it say three seconds. I think three seconds is enough to move across and get your mouse um, in that given position. In fact, I'm gonna move it to five because I don't know how quick my reflexes are. <laughs> so this here is gonna print the mouse's current position. So we're gonna click it, get it to run. We're gonna go onto TikTok and we're gonna just hover over where kind of the middle area of a TikTok is. Okay. So the reason we do it like that and not over here is because these bits here, depending on you know how long a, a caption is or what um, songs are on it, um, it completely depends. So if I was to do it here and move each time, 
it isn't always guaranteed whereas you know if we pop it here and then we scroll a certain bit and then double click it's more likely to catch it because there is a bigger kind of area in which you can get it so that particular area here was 550 and 520 so we can say here the TikTok is located at x equals 550 and y equals 520 and we're just going to hashtag that bit out so what we can do now is we can say pyauto gui dot move to and we're going to input the location so 520, 550 520 now if we run this python file and we go across to tiktok move the mouse my hands here watch what happens it moves do you see that okay perfect so we've got it to move and something just to mention with this move to and a lot of things with pi auto gui you will need to give pycharm access to your screen and if you run this python file and it comes up with a little message that says give access then you need to grant access and this is something that can be turned off um, as soon as you finish coding that's usually what i do i'll pop it on for when i want to do this specific coding and then i'll turn it off um, afterwards okay so we've created a Py python file that will move to a specific point on the screen i think it's incredible like just watching it and my hands not being here and it moves i think it's really quite cool so now what we've done is we've got python to move to a specific point for a tiktok what we need to do is figure out how far it needs to scroll in order to get to roughly the center of the next tiktok so what we're going to say is pi auto gui dot scroll now for my screen it's roughly around minus 16 so i'm just going to run this and i'm going to see if it if this works um might need to just change it so it's going to move to okay so it's scrolled okay yeah perfect and that's done it really really quickly um something that we're going to incorporate later is adding a bit of time because otherwise it it gets a bit kind of um it goes a bit too fast so that's perfect it's gone into the middle um a lovely man eating ice cream there <laughs> so we know exactly where we need to move to and then where we need to scroll to now we need to add it all together with a double click and that will like the tiktok so we're going to say for i in range and how many tiktoks do we want to like right now let's say we want to like five we're going to say we're going to move this to the top of here so it's going to move first python's going to move to this location now as i said before we're just going to add time sleep and that's simply just going to kind of pause for a second then we're going to say pi auto gui dot double click this will double click open brackets again we're going to leave a bit of time not 0.5 and then we're going to scroll okay so as i said it's going to move to this location and then it's going to loop around this five times so it's going to kind of pause double click pause scroll and then go again so pause double click okay for five times so we're going to run it and i've refreshed um a brand new for you page and let's see i've got my hands here it's moved it's double liked it's liked it's liked again liked again liked again and it's moved to the tiktok so what's worth noting is you know this here there is a little bit of a gap so just play around with this scroll feature um you know it, it completely depends on the size of a tiktok sometimes tiktoks can come like this um in which case it makes it a little bit harder but that is a very very kind of simple way of being able to go onto tiktok move the screen you know get get python to move your mouse like and then scroll i think this is definitely one of the modules that kind of leaves you a bit like oh whoa that's pretty cool like i can just step away from my computer write some code that's gonna make it do stuff and i don't even need to touch it i think it's yeah i think it's pretty cool um i know i always i always say things are cool and stuff and you probably don't find them that cool but i think that's just what i get for being a bit of a <laughs> bit of a tech nerd so that is the video something to say with this is you can play around with it you've grasped the basic concept of how you can move your mouse or location how you can find a given location how you can pause you know how you can double click and scroll um, these are the kind of the main features of pi auto gui in terms of kind of moving around around the screen something i will say is please use this responsibly i don't know if um you know tiktok might pick up on the fact that you're a bot if you continually like loads of photos so just kind of keep it um sensible be sensible with this it's just a very nice way of being able to understand how pi auto gui works again like i said um please check out my tiktok and my instagram and everything 
Um, TikTok is very much flopping at the moment, so um, I'd appreciate any support on my TikToks. That'd be, you know, that'd mean a lot to me. I also put on the Code of the Future Instagram account, kind of stories asking my followers what tutorials they want to see next. So if you are a subscriber or you are going to become a subscriber, please go follow the Instagram and please get involved with those polls. It just helps me create content that I know my subscribers want to see. And again, I'm also releasing tutorials every week you know if i can manage it alongside university work i'm going to do two a week even more hopefully i've also got a raspberry pi on the way so we're going to incorporate a little bit of hardware as well i have huge plans for this channel and i want to say thank you to everyone who does support it and does subscribe it really does mean a lot to me and yeah i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did then please like subscribe and comment and i will see you all in the next video